Uh, I live in Alaska. I live in Anchorage, Alaska. I've been a pro photographer for 18 and a half years and I shoot action, adventure, outdoor and travel. And I'm a, I consider myself a pretty highly mobile photographer. I like to move around a lot. So I, I like gear that's, that's lightweight but, but durable because I tend to go pretty rough through life and I bang it around and so I need to have gear that's going to withstand the abuse I'm going to give it. Um, I, I like being out in the world and exploring and I've, I've shot for a number of magazines, outdoor magazines and companies like Patagonia and so I've had a number of Im images published around the world in different formats. Uh, for over 20 years I shot with Nikon gear. I had Nikon SLRs and with film cameras and then uh, I switched to the, the digital. They had the D200, the 300 and the 700. The 700 was my last digital Nikon. I had that for a number of years and I liked it a lot. I uh, had a number of Nikon lenses but it was heavy and the D700 was getting a little long in the tooth. You know the sensors were getting bigger and better. Uh, and a few years ago at, at Photo Plus trade show, someone showed me, I wandered by the Fuji booth and I saw the X10, the little tiny X10, and I thought it was, I was really intrigued by that. I thought it was a pretty cool little camera. It looked like a real camera. It looked like an, an older camera with dials and like milled metal dials and, and just lightweight. And so I, I bought that and I tried it out and uh, I actually took a, a bike trip with it and with just that I left the Nikon at home and I started to get attracted to using lighter gear and I moved to the XE1 and I got an X20 and the more the more I used those the more I enjoyed being unencumbered and using lighter weight gear. For one thing it fits in my hand perfectly it's 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 like the the most ergonomically friendly camera I've ever used. Uh, it, it fits my hand. Everything I need is right on the top deck. I got my shutter speed, which I usually keep to A for aperture priority. Uh, ISO, quick adjustments, and then exposure compensation. And then if I need to change my shooting mode, I don't have to press a menu and then change something. I'll press a function button and change something. It's just a flick of a dial. And then if I need anything else, uh, you know, I can go into the quick menu. But most of the functions are very accessible that I need and then it's weather sealed and it's it's rugged it's you know magnesium body so it's I've beat it up pretty good and it's it's lasted and then you know I actually like the articulating screen the the flip screen I can helps me shoot at different angles and I mean even just being able to see what I'm shooting you know sometimes I shoot a lot like this if I'm trying to follow a moving subject and if I'm riding a bike or in a vehicle or running I can see what I'm shooting, and it's it, it's lightweight. You know, it's much much lighter than my Nikon. Uh, if anything, they've allowed me to go lighter. Uh, I what I what I like best is that they haven't changed my style. I've I've been able to work them into my style seamlessly, and I'm able to shoot what I the way I shoot and how I like to shoot uh, without feeling that I have to adapt to the camera. Yeah, I I think that the technology of the screen and the electronic viewfinder, you know, it shows me exactly what I'm going to get. With, with film cameras, you know, growing up so many years with film, you, you, you never really know what you were going to get until you got back from your trip and processed your slide film. And that could be weeks later. You know, you come back with 50 or 100 rolls of film and you had no idea until you got them all processed. With the, the EVF or the screen, I, I know what I'm going to get immediately. And that's a huge benefit to me because it saves me time. It saves me having to think about things and bracket more. You know, if I don't like what I see, I can make an adjustment or change to a different film simulation mode. One of the things I like most about Fuji is that they make cameras that it looks and feels like what a camera should feel like or what I remember cameras feeling like. At the same time, it's modern technology and they support those cameras with continuing updates, which it, it brings me back to my old film days. My first Nikons, my first SLRs, I had for years an old manual Nikon and you could just keep buying newer film and I used to use Fuji film. I used to use Velvia all the time and Provia. As long as you put a brand new roll of updated 
technology film, you get the best images possible in an old camera, whether the camera could be 20 years old or even 30 years old. As soon as the world went digital, that changed and a digital camera became obsolete as soon as the next generation of sensors came out. And especially with DSLRs, you know, you can't really upgrade them because all the components are hardwired mechanical components inside them. With Fuji doing firmware updates, they're continually improving their cameras. And so, you know, the, the past two firmware updates on the X-T1 is like getting a brand new camera and just, but I didn't have to buy a new camera. So that keeps longevity of the cameras. And it, it you know, the, the longer I use a camera, the more it's a part of my shooting style. You know, I, I want to keep a camera for a long time and still have the highest technology. Now, DSLRs are great cameras, but my feeling is that mirrorless technology is, is the future. You know, camera technology and cameras move forward and and the mirrorless technology is it's the way we're moving and the cameras are getting better the gap is closing very rapidly in terms of performance and quality and in many cases exceeding what a lot of DSLRs can do and what I like about the Fuji system is that Fuji films a, a, a photo their camera company they've been making cameras and lenses for years and so they it, it's it's just a seamless transition. I, I, I pick up one of these cameras and I, I, know, I know what I'm looking at. It's, they're, just, they're, they're built well, they're styled very carefully, they look and feel great, and they perform in you know, really top-notch level. You know, I, I like that a lot of the models in the X-Series have the same sensor, so you're going to get the same excellent image quality whether you have the top-level X-T1 or whether you have you know, an XM or an XT10 or even the XM1 or so it's, you know, you, the features are different, but image quality, which is ultimately the most important thing, is consistent.